Hi everybody, my name is Tom and this is episode 3 of my gun ranking. Rank 19 goes to the M8A1. This is probably a gun that is quite a bit underrated by the community because it is really, really well. Um, movement speed is nice, uh, reload is nice, uh, rate of fire is nice. It just has burst fire, which is a bit annoying. I admit that, but it's like everything nice again, like with any assault rifles. Um, they are just cool, they, they have kind of a bit of everything, they have a, a nice ammo count, nice clip size, as said, they kind of have everything. The major problem of the M8A1 is besides the, the, the burst fire actually, that there are simply better ones, we still haven't seen the Galil, we still haven't seen the AN94 or the M27, even not the MTAR. And um, therefore, why should I use like the M8A1 when I like to use assault rifles? Um, there are simply better ones, and even if I like the burst fire, there is still the FAL, and uh, obviously also better because we haven't seen it yet. Therefore, the problem, the gun of the problem of the gun is simply that there are better ones of the of the same style. And uh, therefore, no one uses it and is kind of right with it. Rank 18 goes to the PDW 57. Uh, again, it's a wall gun. We just assume that we have only one ammo set with it so that we actually can rank it somehow. The perfect thing of this gun is, of course, the massive clip size of 50 bullets. So when we find a very good shooting point, we can like empty the whole clip in one burst and... 50 bullets will just kill the full horde and this is absolutely amazing. Now, um, you know that the PDW is not doing that much damage per bullet. You especially notice it when you compare it directly to any other wall gun in very early rounds when it's not upgraded. But upgraded, actually, um, the damage gets quite acceptable with approximately 6,000, I think. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 7,000, actually. That's very good. And with 400 bullets, the gun ranks very well. It also has a ton of style, it's a lot of fun to use it, so I can highly recommend it. Rank 17 goes to the M14, it's uh, kind of a surprise that the M14 is a very cheap uh, cheap and I say bad wall gun, gets that a good ranking, but well, the M14 is first of all very 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 good to maximize your points in the early rounds, when, when it's not up upgraded yet of course, but once you upgrade it, it actually does a massive amount of hatch damage it's, it's more like a sniper than a, a assault rifle actually I don't know if it's called an assault rifle or it, if it is already a sniper gun because I think it wasn't five where a character said like that it is so precise or something like that I don't know anyway um, that's a bit off topic so the M14 is just perfect when you wanna take out single zombies with one single shot so when you camp somewhere and a zombie breached through your defense you can just one shot him with a headshot when using the M14 for quite a long time and that's actually pretty cool but also for hordes um, the M14 does a very nice damage penetrates well through the zombies and uh, yeah it's, it's actually a fun gun the problem when you use it to kill zombies is just that uh, semi-automatic guns they are never as fast as automatic ones and therefore uh, it's not so convenient. Rank 16 goes to the Python, actually a very very funny gun. You see the damage of it, it's it's uh, just twice as high as the M14's damage and that means we can actually one-shot zombies up to approximately around 33 when we use double tap and hat popper and that's absolutely amazing so um, when you camp again or when you play a four-player co-op game and you just get single zombies one after the other but never a full heart the python is absolutely perfect because you just give one shot in the head of each zombie and he's instantly dead. Reload is not so bad when, when the Python is upgraded because you reload all chambers and you also have a clip size of 12 which is pretty cool. Um, the reserve ammo is, yeah, it's just about 100 shots, that's not so much, but it's okay. And even for hordes, so when you get like a horde out of, of 10 zombies at your camping spot or so, um, you can still take that horde out very, very quickly and easily. So actually a gun that I would say is absolutely underrated by the community. If you haven't yet, check it out.
Rank 15 goes to the Voice of Justice. Well, all of us know that this gun does a massive amount of damage. You see there, um, uh, where is it? Uh, there it is, 30.6k damage with one bullet, one shot in a full heart. That's absolutely amazing. And uh, this number six there means actually that it does the sixth highest damage. And I mean, there are sniper rifles and the ray guns and everything. So um, as a as a pistol, actually, or if you want to call it shotgun, then it's a shotgun. Whatever that thing is, um, it does a massive amount of damage. What I like most about this gun is that you have the chance to free yourself safely when you get blocked by zombies. So let's assume you run a train somewhere and then you face a zombie in your front that blocks you. You can't move anymore. You just empty the full clip of the Voice of Justice or the clip, the, the drum mag or whatever that thing there is. You just empty it in the zombie and uh, you can kill that zombie very, very quickly, even in very high rounds. So even in round 50, I think a zombie will not survive a full mag of the Voice of Justice. And therefore, you have the chance to free yourself. And that is why I called this gun the Oh Shit, I'm Blocked gun, because um, uh, it can help you out of these situations. But it doesn't work always, um, but you have the chance to free yourself. So that was um, the third episode. Hope you are excited for the top 14 guns. Um, we see rank 10 to 14 in the next episode. So see you tomorrow. Have fun. Bye.